If you struggle with finding time to work out, you're definitely going to want to watch or listen to this video. Hi, and welcome back to the show. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brie Ogletree. I am an online fitness trainer teaching you how to fit fitness into your unique lifestyle so that you can achieve and maintain your body goals long term. One of the biggest reasons I hear as a coach for why it's so hard to stay consistent and to see results when it comes to fitness training is going to be time. So finding the time to work out, finding the time to dedicate to your physical fitness. So if that's you, I'm creating this episode to help you overcome that hurdle and that obstacle when it comes to achieving your fitness goals, uh, because it is definitely something that we can work around for sure. It may take a little bit of a reframing, a little bit of perspective, but it's definitely doable. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video if you're watching on YouTube and subscribe to the show. If you're listening on the podcast, be sure to also subscribe for more episodes and free fitness education just like this. And if you're on Spotify in particular, I just started uploading the video versions of this episode to Spotify because the platform does support it. Um, And I'm doing my best to be intentional with including some more visual content as I talk on the show. It is a talk show, but obviously visuals are a little bit more interesting and will help you learn a little bit more. So if you have the time to check out the video, definitely check out the video version either on Spotify or on YouTube. So time. We all get the same 24 hours in a day. So, And some people seem to find time to work out and some people seem to say that there's no time to work out. So what is the solution here? So this is honestly the best solution that I can come up with to help you find the time to exercise and to work out. So looking at those 24 hours in a day, the first thing that I want you to do is to audit your time. So you can write it down, you can just take note, but audit how you're spending your time. Everything from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed to include when you're sleeping. So what are you doing with those 24 hours in the day and how are you spending your time? I think the first thing that we need to do is take notice of how you're spending your time and if there's some changes that we can make. But the first step is going to be to take notice and to observe how you're actually spending your time. I recommend doing this over a few days, if not a week, to see how your time, like how you're spending your time changes from day to day. If there's some gaps in your day that you're not, maybe not noticing when it comes to thinking about your fitness goals, if you can write it down from hour to hour, minute to minute, that's awesome. I'm not asking you to do that, but it's going to help you really understand where your time is going uh, so that we can figure out a solution when it comes to time and your fitness goals. So after you're done taking notice or even writing down your time log and what you're doing with your time, what I want you to notice first, if there has been any, are gaps in your time. So are there times when you're not doing anything, or are there times in your day when you're doing some mindless activity, something like scrolling on social media, or binge watching a show, or just kind of doing both. I've done that where I've put on a show, but I'm not really listening to it or watching it, and then I'm scrolling on social media. Are there times in your day when you're doing something like that? Um, Unnecessarily long phone calls. Are you just staying on the phone with people, with friends and family, just, just to stay on the phone with them? It's okay if you love to talk, but are those phone calls going a little bit longer than maybe they should? If you are noticing there's a lot of gaps in your day or times when you are doing some of these mindless activities, then we want to start to consider whether or not we could be using some of that time for our physical fitness. Another thing that you can notice over the course of a week are your off days. Are there days when you're off of work um, where you're kind of just chilling, relaxing, you don't really have much responsibilities? And can you use those days? Can you use a part of your day, a fraction of your day to work towards your fitness goals? If you do audit your time, you audit a few days or a week and you notice that none of this is happening. So you don't have any days off. You don't have gaps in your schedule. You're literally jumping from task to task or Maybe you work multiple jobs, or maybe you're the primary caregiver in your household. Maybe you're a single mom, a single parent, um, taking care of a young child, uh, and also working. 
if that is your case and there really is no time for extracurricular activities or for exercise, I totally understand. And I'm going to try my best to come up with a solution for you. It may be, may not be the most ideal. It may not look like a standard fitness or training plan, but it's something that we can do hopefully to help you start working towards your goals. For the majority of us though, there are going to be gaps in our time and we need to just be honest with ourselves and decide whether or not we want to use those gaps in our time or those times when we're doing mindless activities to focus on our physical fitness. And if that's not something that you want to focus on and you'd rather, you know, do something like binge watch a show or scroll on social media, that's fine. Um, but what I have to say to that is don't complain that you don't have time to work out because those could be some times when you could be working out, even if it's only one to two of those days or, and a fraction of that day. So we're talking like 20 to 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes of your time in order to start working towards your physical fitness. I'm assuming you, you're watching this video because you do want to make time for your physical health. You want to do something. Uh, so let's take a look and see what parts of those gaps in your schedule can you use to do a workout or to do some type of physical activity the next thing is going to be how much time are you willing to dedicate so if you have if you noticed in your schedule the first few days or week that you're just looking and observing your time if you notice you have maybe two hours in a day whether it's split up or not you have two free hours where you're just either relaxing, you're scrolling, you're watching TV, something like that. Can you use that some of that time to work out? And how much of that time are you willing to sacrifice, not really sacrifice, but redirect to your fitness goals? What can you realistically commit to is what I'm asking. If it's 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes. If it's 30 minutes, great. If it's an hour, amazing. But we need to know what is realistic for you so that we can make a plan that is realistic for your lifestyle. If it's zero minutes and you do have gaps of time, then again, you don't need to be watching this video because <laughs> it's not a priority to you, which is fine. But if it's zero minutes because you just don't have time, like you literally don't have time because you work multiple jobs, or again, you are the primary caregiver in your household, stay tuned. I am hopefully going to help you solve that and hopefully help you get in some physical activity as you are awake throughout the day. You probably get it by now, but usually when we say things like, I don't have time to work out with the exception of those people that I spoke about working multiple jobs, being the primary caregiver and working, what it usually is, is that we're choosing something else over our physical fitness. So we are prioritizing something else over our fitness and our our health and our in our physical well-being i'm not saying that there's something wrong with that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if you are okay with with where you're at with your physical fitness you're not interested in you're not interested in in changing where you're at when it comes to your physical fitness but again you're probably watching this video because you do want to make some changes so just that reframe in our mindset and deciding that physical fitness is going to be a priority going into 2023. This is, it's the end of 2022. So going into 2023, deciding that fit, physical fitness is going to be one of your priorities in 2023 is the first step. So choosing to do physical fitness, choosing to work out instead of something like sleeping in instead of watching TV, instead of scrolling on social media. This is a decision that you're going to have to make in order to move forward with working on your fitness goals. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy because it's not. <laughs> starting a new habit is never easy. So one of the first steps to starting another habit is prioritizing it, deciding that it's important. So you need to decide that it's something that is important to you in order to dedicate time to it. All right. So I think I have, I've beaten that into the ground so you, you definitely get it by now but decide that it's important use some of that gap time to work on your phys physical fitness and again it can be as little or as much time as you want but there does need to be time dedicated to it once you make that decision the next step is to put a plan together right so I am big on planning when it comes to fitness coaching, when it comes to training and planning in a way that is going to be unique to your lifestyle. Because if we 
try to follow a plan that doesn't really fit into how we're living, then it's not really the best plan for you because you're not going to follow it. So in your plan, and I go over this in my train, my one page train like a pro guide, it's going to help you put together a plan that works for your unique lifestyle. And hopefully by the time you're watching this video, I have the newest version out. I am updating it, but it's gonna walk you step by step through how many days per week are you training? How, how long are your training sessions gonna be? Um, where are you gonna be training? What types of equipment are you gonna be using? The workouts themselves, it's gonna help you map out workouts that are gonna work for you um, and workouts that are gonna be effective for your for your goals. So putting together a plan, getting and getting it on the calendar too is going to be your next step in being more successful and coming up with the time for training. Putting it on your calendar is going to make it a real event. It's going to make it something that you need to show up for for yourself. If you had something on your calendar with a friend or a family member, I'm pretty sure you would probably show up for it because you don't want to let that other person down. So don't let yourself down when it comes to putting your fitness workouts, putting your workouts on your calendar. That is an event for you to show up for yourself. So make sure that you do that. Once you're planned together, you know when you're working out, you know how long you're working out for, you know what exercises you're doing. The next step is to show up and to keep showing up over and over and over and over again. Of course, you can adjust your plan as you need to. So from week to week, if different things come up and you need to shift or adjust or change the length of time that you're working out, you can do that, right? That's what the point, that's the point of the plan. The plan is, you know, it's not set in stone. It's definitely flexible and it can flex with your lifestyle and what you got going on from week to week or from day to day. But get that primary plan down first and then, and then adjust it as you go. But show up, continue to show up for your training sessions for those time slots on your calendar. The last thing I'm gonna do before I sign off is get into some workout tactics. Um, and I'm gonna start with those people who have multiple jobs. So if you're working two, three jobs, um, or if you are the primary caregiver and you're also working, so you don't have a lot of free time or you have virtually no free time, um, I feel for you. I totally understand. I totally get it. But hopefully this little tactic will help you get in some physical activity. And again, um, you have to decide that it's important to you. So if you do wanna work on your fitness and you virtually have no time, this is what I can offer you. So what I recommend if you really have no time is to incorporate movements that you can do on the go and to incorporate them in your break times, in your lunch times, maybe in your commute from job to job, or maybe while you're waiting to pick up your child from daycare, um, things that you can, little things that you can do, movements that you can do while you're moving around throughout your day. For a lot of you that may look like body weight exercises, so doing things like squats, push-ups, possibly pull-ups if you have access to a bar, but doing more calisthenic stuff throughout your day, like a set of squats here, a set of 10 of squats here, a set of push-ups, a set of 10, five to 10 push-ups here and there as your day is going. So a little bit, something is better than nothing, right? So if you decide that it's important to you to incorporate some strength training, for example, that is what I recommend to you. If you do find that you have maybe like 10 or 20 minutes be between jobs or between your next responsibility, the piece of equipment that I would invest in is bands. So carrying bands with me. Uh, bands are a very versatile piece of equipment. You can do a lot with them. You can squat, you can do upper body pull, upper body push exercises with them, depending on where you can anchor them. Set a timer for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is, and maybe pick four different exercises. So pick an upper body push, upper body pull, pick a lower body exercise and pick a core exercise and do as many rounds of maybe eight to 12 reps as you can of those exercises. Um, again, something is going to be better than nothing. So if this is something that you want to work on in 2023, we have to get resourceful, right? We have to work with what we got. And that is what I offer to you. So in those gaps in your day, those little tiny micro gaps in your day, if you're super, super busy, body weight exercises can be incorporated. And then if you want to, if you want to include some band work in there, getting some bands. I do have a free resource for bands that I recommend. So you can grab that. I'll link it in, in the show notes below. Um, there's other stuff on there as well, but 
bands are really easy to move around with. They're lightweight. You can pack them in, you know, a small bag um, and they're not going to take up a lot of space. So that is what I have to offer to you if you have virtually no time, but you still want to work out. Now, if you do have the time, you want to dedicate a session to training, but maybe you have, you know, 10, anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, like a short session. What I would recommend is kind of the same thing. So setting a timer for whatever period of time you have, uh, 10 to 30 minutes and doing, uh, doing four movements. So a lower body exercise, uh, an upper body push exercise, an upper body pull exercise and a core exercise and doing as many rounds as you can in that time slot of anywhere from eight to 12 reps. The piece of the type of equipment that you use doesn't really matter. What matters is we're getting in quality movement and quality exercise. So if, even if it is 10 minutes, getting in what you can uh, to work towards your physical fitness goals. If you have longer than 30 minutes, I definitely recommend checking out the free resource, Train Like a Pro, because it's going to walk you through how to create your own fitness plan that's going to work for your unique lifestyle. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully time is no longer going to be a barrier or a reason or an excuse for why you can't get to your fitness goals in 2023. Um, if you're looking to get serious about your training, about your fitness, start here, start with auditing your time, and then put a plan together from there that's gonna work with your schedule. Be sure to also grab the free resources that I mentioned. The first one is gonna be home gym equipment. So if you're looking for bands on the go workouts, those are listed on there. And then the last, the last resource is gonna be the Train Like a Pro. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, the new version will be out. Um, it's gonna walk you step-by-step step how to create a plan specific to you and your lifestyle. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening if you're listening on the podcast. And be sure to consider subscribing to the show to get more free fitness education just like this. And I will talk to you next week. Have a good one. Bye.